Weather Authority Alert Day continues on this Friday, July 5th, because we are tracking some intense heat out there. Also, a couple of strong storms have developed with the main threat of some damaging winds. Also, a little bit of hail embedded in some of these storms. Now, when we have a look at the heat index values, when we factor in our temperature and our humidity uh, together, we sort of get the picture of what it feels like outside. Some areas uh, very indicative that we've seen some rain, especially out in the NRB for parts of the Roanoke Valley. We notice temperatures anywhere from 66 to 82 degrees, while areas out to our west who have yet to see some rain are still in the triple digits for your feels like temperatures. Lexington feeling like 106, Alta Vista, Danville 100, South Boston 102. So still a very, very hot out there. Our peak heat indices have been anywhere from about 90 all the way up to about 108 degrees. So certainly been hot and steamy out there this afternoon. We are under a severe risk as well. As per this morning, the Storm Prediction Center out in Oklahoma has indicated and upgraded us to a slight risk, which is a level two out of five, primarily for the Roanoke Valley and towards the NRB, also directly north for parts of the Highlands. Marginal risk here in green, level one out of five for some severe weather. We are currently tracking some severe weather as we've had over 300 total lightning strikes within the last 10 minutes across the viewing area. So uh, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for parts of Botetourt County, uh, the city of Salem, the city of Roanoke and Roanoke County until about 530 this evening. So that will expire in about 11 minutes. Time could be extended as we are tracking uh, some really heavy rain. Also some gusty winds, possibly even some pea sized hail embedded in there. You'll also notice these green polygons down here. These are flash flood warnings because the ground has been so dry because we've had a lack of rain for the past basically three weeks or so, uh, the ground is having a hard time soaking up some of this rain. So flash flood warning in effect for Patrick County till 815. And then once we go over here towards parts of Carroll County until 930 this evening, it also includes parts of Floyd, uh, parts of Wythe County, and also parts of Pulaski County as well as Grayson County. So those areas there under a flash flood warning until about 930 this evening. We also have uh, live storm reports. There have been reports all across the board of uh, some trees down, some power lines down. You see right along here. So believe in Franklin County, we have a few trees down in the Reiner area. And then over here in Roanoke, we've got three storm reports, uh, trees down on Forest Hill Drive. So those are some of the reports that we're dealing with with some of these gusty winds and some of these intense storms that are building through. Uh, future casts heading into the rest of the night will actually uh, start to clear up by about midnight or so. And again, all this rain that we're receiving is good. We just don't need it in the boatloads that we've been seeing recently. Uh, we are under severe drought still. The next uh, drought monitor will come out next Thursday, so I suspect we'll be downgraded a little bit to a moderate drought in uh, some of our backyards, but still desperately needing the rain, just not all at once like we're receiving right now. Low temperatures as we head into the night, anywhere from about 68 to 74 degrees. And then the latest information on Tropical storm barrel now has been uh, downgraded to a tropical storm earlier this morning. Winds still sustained at about 65 miles per hour, and it will be building into the Gulf of Mexico here in the next couple of hours. And I do think it'll regain hurricane status because temperatures out there are in the mid 80s across parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Your seven day forecast has rain chances 20 to 30% over the next seven days. Temperatures anywhere from 87 to 93.